The development of the A-7 Corsair II traces back to the early 1960s, when the United States Navy began looking for a new attack aircraft to replace the aging Douglas A-4 Skyhawk. This led to the VAL competition, and Ling Temco Vought's design won the day. The A-7 Corsair II was designed as a single-seat, single-engine aircraft made for carrier-based operations. It was compact, but it was packed with state-of-the-art technology for its time. The aircraft was known for its high subsonic performance and range. Its unique design featured a high wing, a turbofan engine, and a single M61 Vulcan 20mm rotary cannon for defense and attack. One notable design feature was the integrated avionics suite that allowed all weather and night attack capabilities. It was one of the first aircraft to have a modern heads-up display, improving pilot situational awareness dramatically. The A-7 entered service with the U.S. Navy in late 1966, and its first deployment was aboard the aircraft carrier USS Ranger in December 1967 for the Vietnam War. During the Vietnam War, the Corsair II was deployed for close air support, tactical bombing, and escort missions. It quickly gained a reputation for accuracy and reliability. Pilots often referred to the A-7 as the SLUF, an acronym for short little ugly fella. But they respected its performance and tenacity in combat situations. Post-Vietnam, the A-7 continued to serve in various conflicts. Notably, the U.S. Air National Guard used A-7Ds and A-7Es until 1993. Greek and Portuguese A-7s saw action over Bosnia as part of UN operations in the mid-90s. The Corsair II demonstrated high reliability and effectiveness throughout its service life, which extended into the early 1990s for the U.S. forces. For other countries like Greece, it remained in service until 2014. Throughout its decades of operation, the Corsair II completed more than 4 million flight hours, with a safety record better than any other Navy aircraft at that time. This speaks to its exceptional design and the ingenuity of its creators. The A7 Corsair II evolved over the years, with several different models being produced. The original A7A was followed by the A7B, which had an uprated engine and improved avionics. The A7C was a transitional model leading up to the advanced A7D, which was adopted by the U.S. Air Force and equipped with a more powerful engine. The A7E, the definitive Navy model, introduced a new avionics suite, better radar, and the capability to carry more diverse munitions. Finally, there were two-seat trainer versions, the TA-7C and EA-7L, which had additional equipment for electronic warfare. The A-7 Corsair II retired from active service in the early 1990s with its advanced design, innovative technologies, and a storied operational history. It has secured its place in the annals of military aviation. Throughout its decades of operation, the Corsair II completed more than 4 million flight hours, with a safety record better than any other Navy aircraft at that time. This speaks to its exceptional design and the ingenuity of its creators. The A-7 Corsair II evolved over the years, with several different models being produced. The original A-7A was followed by the A-7B, which had an uprated engine and improved avionics. The A-7C was a transitional model leading up to the advanced A-7D, which was adopted by the U.S. Air Force and equipped with a more powerful engine. The A-7E, the definitive Navy model, introduced a new avionics suite, better radar, and the capability to carry more diverse munitions. Finally, there were two-seat trainer versions, the TA-7C and EA-7L, which had additional equipment for electronic warfare. The A-7 Corsair II retired from active service in the U.S. in the early 1990s. A total of 1,545 aircraft were produced, 